Honestly, I mean, here's the thing about uh, Cookie Slayer. Did he beat Kuzini in singles today? Yes, he did. So, uh, losing to him and all the legends I've heard about Heavy were like, he showed up, what, he went to his first Ultimate Tournament and won it? Like, uh, I think he got second to Second to what? Okay, sorry. <laughs> but still, he took a set off boy. He took a set off that's even better than I thought. Okay. Yes, he took a set off boy the first tournament he showed up to. Yeah, in that case, I'll, I'll let the Marios off this time. <laughs> SoCal can lose to this team. I'm fine with it. <laughs> but here's the thing. Team SoCal versus TNT. Z-Fly, who are you feeling? I mean, normally my heart lies with SoCal, but after seeing what we just saw from TNT, I got to go with TNT. TNT? Better hope SoCal's not listening. Who? SoCal. Oh, they're not. <laughs> they're, not they're not watching this. They're here. That's true. They are here. <laughs> so. We're going to get, uh, yeah, Snake versus Young League, I assume. That's Open it. Up. That is exactly what I would assume. So with the lot of explosives and the uh, fire arrows coming out, the thing that I'm wondering is uh, it's minor, but... Link's bombs actually detonate immediately if they take fire damage? That's correct. Yeah, so, um, Link should get exploded really, really early in this double game. I don't think he's going to be able to get very much oriented with that, but he wasn't really looking for that in the previous set either. That's right. more for arrows and boomerangs. I mean, been. even at that point, it wasn't even, like, that many projectiles. He is... Pac-Man is the T that's really been, uh, setting up his arsenal of traps. Yeah. <laughs> like, we have so many traps gonna be the most fun 2v ones ever if it gets to that point well it will most likely get to that point when someone has to 2v1 yeah that's just math <laughs> so spoke must take him to start off the set again best of three between these guys i believe winner of this makes it in the top eight. Oh, is it only going to top eight <laughs> barely <laughs> see fly it's okay <laughs> stay with me here Oh, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. So, I mean, as you can see, red team taking a little bit of damage. Blue team is starting off a lot stronger than they were in their previous set. Usually we saw Mr. R and Captain Zack with the, the stronger leads, and then we saw how the adjustments that blue, um, the T's would make to yeah. bring it back. We have ourselves once again T's with full stage control against this time the red team. It looks like Heavy's just trying to cover Pac-Man as best he can, but he's having a little bit of a hard time finding his openings against this character. That's right. Just like that, another up air landing onto Link T. A forward throw that's gonna throw. Woo! And Zan with a very offensive recovery using the down air to actually close out a stock on Link. That was amazing. Great awareness coming out from Zan. Because uh, that's like, that's the difference between like, Good doubles players and like amazing ones. That their their eye is always on the other three players, right? And they're able to just capitalize on a moment's notice. I mean, it's called map awareness in other games, but as you can see, map awareness here is totally a factor. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. You're not you're not understating it. Okay, forward air and just seeing so many kicks come out from every player. Oh wow! Actually, Pac-Man down air beating out links up B. I didn't know that. He must have hit him like right where the spin is. Young Link is vulnerable as he spins. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, dash attack coming up from Heavy. We're starting to see the trap. Actually using the Akita to stop the pellet recovery. Actually a great use of it too, because that just forces T into up being from the bottom of the stage. We have blue team, look at this, look at this lead. We have a three stock lead. It's, it's functionally more like a, a two and a half stock lead. Um, but it's still so dangerous to have to deal with. Red team does need to make some type of adjustment. Uh, blue team wasn't looking this dominant in the last set. I don't think they were in fact this high of a lead. No, not at all. Not once. Look at that. Team is ready to go with the key as well. Just dipped under the stage. And then look at how Link T has just been battling off stage with uh, the team player just for so long. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, they're both made it back to stage now, but wow. Finally, Red Team gets full control of the stage with not for long. Pac-Man T goes ahead, lands that bell, that golden ticket. And we see a very lonely, very damaged Heavy going against five stocks against Blue Team. He's gone. He's out of there. We got ourselves a five-stock win by the Blue Team. Where was this energy? I think that energy was there. That's just how good Mr. R and Zach were.
I mean, that is definitely a testament to how good those two players are, both individually and as a team. I, I've seen I've seen both those players very high up and back in Smash 4 in the doubles events. And just that's just the power of CNC, man. Ah, They're CNC, explosive. Baby. <laughs> like you said. Well, I want to see exactly how far TNT can go. I mean, I would also like to see some adjustments uh, from Nan and Head or Winter Heavy. Yeah. Because. I don't need to see SoCal go all like that. <laughs> Straight up, I do not need to see SoCal go all like that. Okay, and I, this is great. We have a character switch from Cookie Slayer. I don't know how I feel about Meta Knight, though. Well, it is going to give them the tool to battle an offstage Pac Man. Because now he can actually go offstage and not worry about recovering. Yeah, yeah, he has those five jumps. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't have. He trades in his stage control of the arrows and bombs and boomerang for existing offstage, which against Pac Man and Link. Highly valuable. I, I can see that. And think about it, you know, Pac-Man's a ball, Meta Knight's a ball. They should be fighting. They are, actually. <laughs> <laughs> they actually are. <laughs> and right well, now, the man fight on the left. Like, Cookie Slayer is trying to get full control of the center stage from both members of Blue Team. Yeah, we see a hero spin connect onto Heavy. Not letting the, not going to trigger on that line. Oh yeah, very, very dangerous situation. Just like that, the forward smash is not going to take out Link T. But with so many jumps, it's going to be so hard to stop him from coming back and say, never mind. That's right, getting the stock trade, S smash from Blue Team and up tilt from Heavy. Yeah, dead even, only a single percent making the difference. That means the trap is starting to come out from Cookie Player. Did you see that team conversion? He's gone down air and he's just there from Blue Team. Wow. That was like a cross stage He's going off real deep, trying to just make sure Gifty is the hardest time to get him back to the stage. Teeth trying to keep Cookie Slayer busy off stage. Meanwhile, Link T doing the same thing for Heavy. Yep, Heavy's gone to that F tilt. Fortunately, Cookie Slayer not in a position where he's going to help his partner. Yeah. And that's the thing, like, Cookie Slayer is forced to take to the air a lot, but uh, Meta Knight's air drift is so slow that when he's just using all those jumps, he can't actually assist Heavy at all. Good pressure by Pac Man Seed and protect Link T after the down throw. Covering high, landing a back air on the way down. So far, in terms of uh, counts, it's actually pretty even the slightest lead for blue team, and even that by a margin of like 40%. I mean, the character switch definitely looks like it's working. Okay, that's back in the bottom when we see heavy recovery high again, dropping with the back here, throwing Pac-Man into the grave. Yeah, with a bell though, no capitalization by blue team. Oh, heavy trying to go for something big. Yeah, but unfortunately, Dan got picked up and thrown right into the blast zone. The members of Red Team holding on to that stage, trying to keep this edge guard going, and more importantly, if they do, they can actually take out Link T for sure, and yeah, actually, Pac-Man T bites it as well. Right, big S match means that thing is so stable, so destructive. Are in play, Pac-Man D-lining it for heavy, trying to make sure that he doesn't able to set up, and Dan trying to battle out, get rid of that stuck on Link. I think both teams recognize the danger of letting a, any stock tank build up for too long, right? If any one of these becomes a two stock versus three stock, that's when we start seeing real snowballing take place. Right, we call the shuttle loop, how to steal, but we're just trying to hit stock tank anymore. Or, uh, Cookie Player. Oh! Here, Nazi, right for that SMAT! Very unfortunate for but SoCal will take that. Yeah. SoCal overall looking very alive in this game, especially compared to the previous one. Again, at five stock by the blue team. Right, did not count out. We have also Cookie Slayer at 94%. That's a dangerous percent against that uh, the blue team, especially against Link Team. Right. Really against most of the players. You see a hero spin coming out. Now it's up to Heavy to battle against the 2v1 situation. He was able to do it, but can Heavy do it? I, th I can actually see Snake being able to pull it off. Between all the pressure his grenades can pull off, 
uh, on top of his, you know, throws, mortar, Nikita, he can actually exert stage control over half the stage if he's able to lift just a little bit longer. Yeah. We have ourselves a stun by the bell, but no punish by it. Link's healing. Is he getting himself the back throw? No follow up by Pac Man, though. Oh, but Chase is so high and sending the tipper up here. Going high again. Oh, not being able to follow up. Heavy just staying calm on the other side of the stage, not rushing the situation, recognizing this is the last stock potentially for him and his teammate. And indeed, it is the blue team, TNT, taking that. I right. think it's 2 0 right now. I believe they should just walk away, but is this going to be best of five? Um, it is best of five. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it is. This she is top eight. Top is eight. Okay, so Cookie Slayer and Heavy have one more game to make some type of adjustment. It's, it's, it's 2 0. 2 0 T. 2 0 T. Yeah, one more game. Uh, one more game for, for Team Japan, Team T, to advance further on into the bracket. And I believe the winner of this set will face Samsora and Tweet. Oh my. I can't believe that's lost. But in any case, that's, that's the future struggles. Right now, we do have ourselves. Yeah, that 2 0 lead by Team T. The counterpick of Mennonite, like you said. Oh no. I was going to say that was fantastic, but. Uh, this going ahead. We almost saw a good camp coming out from Cookie Slayer. T didn't have access to the second jump. It's really important to see the hero spin. The T is part of Pac-Man coming in with the stage, making sure that Zen is preoccupied, not able to actually give it. Yeah, heavy is supposed to be the stock tank of the team. That's very unfortunate. So yeah, his, his tank is literally heavy. Like, that's, <laughs> that's, what you're, that's what you signed up for. Okay, but we see another down throw coming out from uh, Cookie Slayer on to Pac-Man. Cookie Slayer hanging out off stage, going for the deepest shuttle loop, and T instead turns the tables. He's not going to be able to finish off Cookie Slayer, though. He makes it back on stage, A-OK. -okay. Heavy during that interaction was actually sitting center stage, waiting for T to make a move and making sure that he was able to cover Zan's recovery while he was uh, pressuring off stage. And that's really like, that's a great sign of double steamer, right? It's just making sure your teammate is able to do their shenanigans uninterrupted. That's right, sometimes it's not about you putting out damage, it's more about saving your partner or setting them up. Dash attack onto Pac-Man, and we see the mortar come out. But that bell is so dangerous, it actually forced Heavy away from the ledge. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Hydra coming in clutch, just misspacing the F smash, but only allowing a second F smash to connect onto Heavy. Can we have ourselves a basically stock and a half lead for the blue team? This is so big. That's right, looking very reminiscent to game one of this set. Yeah. The blue team looking very dominant. There we go, just blue team playing with confidence. Like, you know, blue team is feeling it when Pac Man is just running up and grabbing. Right. Okay, but we do see the tornado coming in clutch, putting Link uh, down to his last shot. Yeah, but of course, Pac Man, see, haven't been doing such a great job stock taking up until this point. It's functionally still double the resources they have to get through. Okay, now it's just one extra stock. Great, but it's really going to be ooh, good amount of team damage while uh, Pac Man was trying to make it back just from his, uh, his, his launch in the air. Yeah. Sending Link T off stage and uh, Cookie Slayer immediately moving in to assist with that edge guard. I think their eye is on Link to exploit his recovery. Yeah, Cookie Slayer going in trying to set up a tech situation, but Link T makes it up just fine after that. But Red Team just has their eye on only Link T. That's right. T allowing T to set up. We see a little bit of friendly fire. Very unfortunate. But that's going to be game three going to TNT. Team Japan looking so strong. Cookie Slayer and, uh, and Heavy, definitely no slouches here either. That's right. But uh, just kind of that unstoppable terror that we've seen these two players on before. 
and they're doing it right here again at Prime Saga. And you know their next sets, next set's gonna be hard. Well, that's if we get the next set, which we might. I mean, I did see it queued up for the other stream, which of course being like 2G Gaming. Oh man! But I don't know. Uh, it's just, are we getting the next set, or is the other stream getting it? Okay, so I think yeah, that's gonna are be we done that's gonna be it for us. All I right. mean, after that hype set between Mr. R, Captain Zach, and then TNT, 